Hello everybody, here's my mama, and this is a Sharon, it's my mama's best friend. And they're gonna be making a Sharon's recipe pasta salad for y'all today. And here's all the ingredients, it's everything that you'll need. But I'll let them walk you through it step by step, and they're gonna show y'all how uh, she makes it. Well, the first thing we do is we take our uh, pasta right there. It's this mm -hmm. pasta. Yeah. Golden rotini. Garden rotini. Yeah, we get it boiled, tender. And then we put it in our bowl. And you put salt in it while it's boiling, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Put a little bit of salt in it while it's boiling. That's about it. And then we cut up our stuff that goes in. We have um, uh, onions. We got our onions right here. And Sharon will be cutting up some more onions here. And uh, our pepperoni. There's the onions that they're using. It's a uh, green onions. And there's probably maybe three or four of those. Yeah. How many onions do we have in there? About five. five four or onions. five. Because this is two boxes of pasta here. Yeah. And there's a uh, one packet of pepperoni. I don't see the wrapper for it right now. She threw it away. Oh well, it, it'll be fun. But there's yeah. it's one package of pepperoni. Yeah, you can go ahead and cut up the onions right there. She'll go ahead and show you how to cut up the onions and the pepperoni right now. All I do is I just, you know, slice it um, thin as I can. And you got to rinse them off, of course. You yeah. rinse them and then it's got like a little root part on the bottom of it and you cut that part off. Yeah. I'll show you all that. This little root part there, you cut that off and then you rinse them. And then you dice it like this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Sharon's been friends for how many years? About um, 20, something like that. 20 some years. Uh, we uh, got to know each other when I was doing uh, Crusaders for Christ, uh, yeah. teenagers, uh, and she brought her boys up, and then she started doing it with me. So, and we've been, we took them on trips to Ohio and um, South Carolina Dollywood, or North Carolina, where else? Dollywood, Florida. We took them to Tennessee. We've taken them to Florida. Uh, we've taken to Cedar Point, so we've just took them a little bit of everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Hershey's Park, and wherever but, that's at. Yeah, Pennsylvania. And, but, Pennsylvania, yeah. But uh -huh. we always, when we took them to a, a theme park, we always made sure that we went to a place where they were putting on a, a Christian show or something about Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we always made sure we done that. Mm -hmm. And we got pepperoni, and this is the way she cuts it up. Yeah, you could buy the really small little pepperonis too, so you won't have to cut it up, but they're really expensive. That's why they don't uh, use that, because they're, they're overpriced. So it's better just to get these regular pepperoni and then dice them yourself. Yeah. And this is delicious. Uh, I've never fixed it, but Sharon fixes all the time, and Andy loves it, and we all do. So you can go ahead and put it in there. So the pasta so salad nice. has just been boiled, salted while it's boiled, and then drained once I get tender. And now this is just five onions, green onions, and one package of pepperoni. So far. And then now we're gonna cut up the um, tomatoes that goes in. So, and this is our tomatoes right here. There's two packages of tomatoes. There's these ones. Yeah. It says heavenly salad tomatoes. So, and you just, um, Slice them in two like that, longwise. And then there's these ones, it's called sugar bombs. But those are the tomatoes that they're gonna be putting in there. It's one package of each, or you could just use whatever small tomatoes. Sometimes they're called Tommy Toes or something like that. In any type of small tomatoes, you could dice and put it in there. So we're gonna be sharing this pasta, you can see, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> and then we put this in there. This is the two packages of tomatoes. Yeah, you can go ahead and stir it up. It's your salad. <laughs> Makes it pretty and colorful. That's right. I don't know about y'all, but I think it looks good already. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, we put um, ham in it. And this is the way we cut up our ham. I forgot to put my washcloth under my uh, board here. But I think it's going to be all right. And this is really good. 
You could put whatever you would like in it. Yeah. It's you can just it's whatever you would cho your choice. Your choice. And here's the ham that she's using. I guess it's probably a quarter of this package. It's, it's leaking out here. <laughs> I held over the bowl so it can drain on the bowl while I show y'all. It's honey smoked, uncured ham. And it is real good ham. Milton gets it at Aldi's, I think. Ain't that where he got that? I'm pretty sure it is. You know Milton, he likes to shop at his at Aldi's. But that's uh, probably a quarter of that package of ham. Yeah, it makes a pretty good bit. And then I take my little handy dandy uh, chopper here and I've got to show them our, our uh, peppers. Hey, this is the wrapper for it. Yeah, I show them our collared ones over That's there. Sweet bell peppers. And, and I just take them and... So this is the half of each one that yeah. she's uh, putting in there right now. She's got a half of the orange, green, yellow, and red just to make it real colorful. Yeah. And we're gonna be using the other half of these in a different recipe later on today. So these are not gonna to go to waste. Uh, she's gonna be using them later on today. Yeah. So we'll, you, know, you know we'll be doing two videos today. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and here's, um, the, here's the way I cut up my peppers. And it is real easy and simple. I love it. And you can get this at Walmart for like $14, I think is what it is, isn't it? And if y'all don't have one of these, you could just dice them. Yeah. Just dice it real small pieces. So if there's uh, four halves all together, it would be two. And you don't have to use all the different colors either. If you just got yeah, green yeah. ones, that's fine. Just It would call for two green ones or two whatever color you have. Yeah. And then we put our ham in there. And see here, when you use your paper plate, you don't have to wash dishes. <laughs> you don't have that many dishes to wash. Jeez. Then we put our uh, bacon bits in it. You can use whatever type of bacon bits that you have. And if you don't have bacon bits, you can just uh, cook bacon and dice it up. Just any type of bacon bits. Yeah. Okay. It takes too long out of those little tiny holes on some yeah. of this stuff. So. Yeah, you'd have but to you shake it. But you can use how much, ever how much you want. I mean, do you want me to use the whole thing or you want just half of it? Just or? use half of it. Okay. Because it's up to you, to, up to what you would like. Yeah. It's a personal preference thing. Yeah. And then we use the shredded cheese. cheese. It's mild cheddar, but it's whatever type of cheese you like, I'm sure it would be fun. A good hearty salad. I'm not gonna use all that in It's healthy too for you. Alrighty. Okay, now I just need the, the dressing. I need to get the This is the dressing that they use. It's the zesty Italian dressing. I'm gonna go in there and get my Bible. You could probably use this whole container since we used two, but it just really, it just all depends on what you would like, how much dressing you would like to use. Um, Cause once it sets in the refrigerator, if it's, it's better when it marinates uh, overnight or whatever. Um, but uh, it, uh, you can also, uh, when you get up, you know, the next morning, if you put it in the refrigerator, stir it up and then you can add more dressing. It's just what to your tasting to, uh, with that also. Uh, and it marinates overnight in the dressing. If you have it in your refrigerator, it'll absorb all the dressing into the, the vegetables and stuff. All right. There you go. That's all there is. <laughs> Looks yummy, don't it? There it is. Sharon's famous <laughs> pasta salad recipe. That's what she fix every time we have a dinner or something. And he always says, Sharon, bring your pasta salad. <laughs> and that's what we ask her to bring because it's so good. So I'm going to be reading a little bit for you. And uh, let me see. We're going to be reading in Isaiah today, the 53rd chapter. three to. Uh, I'm going to read uh, verse 3 through 12. And it says, He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. 
and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we, we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and effect, uh, afflicted. Uh, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Uh, and we're talking about Jesus Christ here when he died on the cross. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. No, he just went ahead and went on and done what the, he could open his mouth and 10,000 angels could have come, but he didn't. No. He was taken from prison and from judgment and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people was he stricken. And he, and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief, when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. Yeah, he died for our sin. He shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the tra travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors, uh, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Uh, and uh, in our commentary, like uh, uh, Sharon's got this too, she got the same Bible. It's a good Bible, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It's got good commentary in it. Okay, I'm going to read uh, in the commentary that says, Isaiah mentions five times that the Lord's righteous servant would carry our sins. Uh, why was it necessary for the Messiah to do so? Because God is holy, we cannot enter his presence marked by sin. So the perfect sinless lamb of God, Jesus, took our sin and experienced the death we deserved. He made our sacrifice for us so we can now enter God's holy presence. Best of all, the Messiah's sacrifice did not end merely in death. He rose from the dead to show that... He had power over death and gave us confident hope that we, like him, will experience eternal resurrection life. Um, Isaiah speaks of Isaiah of Israel straying from God and compares the people to wandering sheep. Yet God would send the Messiah to bring them back into the fold. Uh, we have the highlight to see and know the identity of the promised Messiah who has come and died for our sins. But if we can see all that Jesus did and still reject him, our sin is much greater than that of the ancient Israelites who could not see what we have seen. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, or are you still going your own way like a wandering sheep? You know, God died on the cross for all of us, for all the sinners, you know, he died for us. But it's our choice. We have to make that choice to come to Jesus Christ, you know. And when we do, one day we'll be in heaven with him, you know. It either be by the grave or be when the uh, rapture comes, you know. But uh, if we're true and faithful to Jesus, he'll be true and faithful to us, you know. He loves us that much that he went to the cross and died for us. Isn't that love? Who would die on the cross for you or who would even die for you? You know, nobody but Jesus Christ himself, you know. That's how much he loved us. He stretched his arms out and died for us, you know. God is good. I say that all the time because he is good. No matter what you go through, no matter what happens to you, God is good because he's always going to come to your defense and take care of you. Okay, now we're going to pray for our YouTube family out there. And If anybody uh, hears us that don't know the Lord, all you have to do is just say, Lord, here I am. Forgive me of my sins. And God's got his open arms up for you to give your heart to him and he will walk with you from from now on unless you turn back from him 
If you turn back from him, he won't. But if you stay with Jesus Christ, he'll be true and faithful to you if you'll be true and faithful to him. He is such a good God. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you today, Lord, just thanking you and praising you for your love, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all our friends, Lord Jesus. Lord, and we thank you for our YouTube family, Lord Jesus. Lord, you see each one that's wrote down in this book, Lord Jesus. Lord, you see their needs, Lord Jesus. And, and Lord, the ones that's going through surgery, Lord, or have financial problems, Lord. Whatever it may be, Lord, you see and you know, Lord, we just ask you to touch them, Lord. Wrap your loving arms around them, Lord, and let them know that you're with them, Lord. And you'll always be with them and walk with them and take care of them, Lord. Ask you to touch our nation, Lord Jesus, and touch Israel, Lord. Give them the peace that they need over there, Lord, in your mighty name, Lord. Lord, and help the lost to see that they need you before it's eternally too late, Lord. We love you and we honor you, Lord, and we thank you for everything. Amen. 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 God is good all the time. So uh, y'all need to try our... They want us to always to try it, so we're, we're going to try it. <laughs> Get me a uh, fork here or a spoon. Or... That's a shame in, or Sharon's world famous <laughs> pasta salad. Everybody loves it. I've never seen somebody try it and didn't love it. I know. <laughs> you want a plate too, Sharon? No. <laughs> she don't want to try it on here. <laughs> but it is good, y'all. Isn't that good? Look at it. Man. Here we go. I'll try to stop so I can talk more to y'all if I can. <laughs> Sharon's pasta salad. Mm hmm. It's just right. Delicious. You don't have to make you a big pot of it. Well, let us know in the comments if y'all plan to make it or if y'all made it before or if y'all's recipe is similar to this. Just let us know in the comments. And I'm still eating, so I love y'all and God bless y'all. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. We love y'all. God bless y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Amen. For any new uh, viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, here's the cookbook. I'll let Mama show it to you. Yeah, it's got me and one of my chickens on it. And it says, my mama's secret recipe and love. And that's what my secret recipe is, love. With gravy, it's coffee. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, then we got we open it up. It's got a plastic binding on it. It's made with um, some kind of shiny paper. It's like a laminated it. almost. Yeah, laminated almost. And there's a story how me and uh, Corey got started in uh, cooking on the YouTube. It started with my chickens. And it's got pictures of uh, me and little miss and me and Corey. And this is Corey when he was a baby with Papa and with me. And there's me and Milton when we started our Sunday message. We did it outside last summer. And uh, we had a hot dog um, community giveaway uh, down at our church. And uh, these were the people that helped me and Corey. And uh, then the rest of it here, uh, it tells the main dishes in it, what all we have in it. You see right here, so my mama's secret recipe. This tells the um, index of it. I can't read them little ones. Yeah, it's uh, it main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on it. But then you just go over through here, and, and it uh, shows the main dishes, and going over tells you the desserts and stuff, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's just got our recipes in it. Right here is a side dish. This is the... Can't read the little writing. It's cat head biscuit recipe. Oh, cat head biscuits. That's my cat head biscuits. That's what the, one of the men called my biscuits in church because I made them so big. And uh, it's got. Um, it's got almost 100 recipes. I think it's got 98 recipes in it. That's why I was going to look on that uh, and see. There's 98 pages, so it's probably close to 98 recipes. Yeah. Because some of the pages are not recipes. You can tell them how many pages on each one. Yeah, it goes, uh, there's, from 9 to 44 is main dishes, 47 to 70 is side dishes, 
and then 73 to 98 is desserts. So and that's our cookbook. And we're selling them for $30 a piece. Yeah, and uh, we'll pay the shipping. We send yeah. it out to y'all and we'll pay the shipping. We throw a tea and a few other extra things in there like cards and bookmarkers and stuff. We put in there extra with it and we pay the shipping and any uh, shipping cost. So it's just $30 for the book and that's it. Yeah. And you could send it in PayPal. Here's the information here. If you wanted to order one, then you could send it to the PO box here. You could send money order, a check, cash, whatever you want to send. That's up to you. But you send it to this PO box and make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so yeah. we can read your address. And we'll send it out to you the next day after we get it. And if you don't have uh, that stuff, if you don't have a way to send it like that, then and you have PayPal or Cash App, if you want to send it this way, that's fine too. You could send it to this PayPal or this Cash App. And as soon as we get it, make sure to put your address in the order whenever you send the money through Cash App or PayPal. You could put your address there and we'll send it out. I'll picture it and we'll send it out as soon as we get it.